We're sure that that station was down at the lower part of this band. You talking to me, Father? The Marine Weather Station, they broadcast from Bermuda. Oh, that's the problem with radio. Damn, this station. Way too atmospheric. Just give me something I can rely on, like cable or financial leverage. Oh, speaking of which, Father, good news from the bank. The Cooper loan has definitely been rejected. For crying out loud, Amanda, not now. Can't you see I'm worried sick about my son? You can cut the damn innocent act. Do you think I was hitting oh, on Abigail? Same old Philip. Some things never Ray, change. Come you know on, that? man. Now she's pretty. Hey, hey, look, very I chummy, know but what I'm you were doing. You were going to use her like you used me. What? That is that is oh, not going to happen. No, you oh, listen. It's not going to happen. You're now, now, right? not ever. Are you still there, Roger? I'm not sure you're listening. We've always had a problem listening, haven't we? Now it's too late. We haven't been feeling ourselves. We probably should have seen a doctor before it got to this point. Going mad is no fun at all. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Everyone knows we should be put away. Where are you? A number of people have been very worried. It's what is this? Fine. It won't be long now, I'm afraid. I'm not sure we should answer the door. It could be the men in white coats. This is just my imagination. All right, okay. Then again, just... it might be easier to go quietly. I need a drink. That's all. I just need a drink. This isn't happening. This isn't happening. until I went insane. But well, we stopped him in time, and you're gonna be fine, Diana. It kills me. We've been jumping through hoops trying to make Roger think he was crazy, and all he needed was this. Well, we're getting closer and closer as we speak. The guy's losing it. No, not fast enough. I want to use this drug on Roger. I want to make Roger crazy for real. This portion of Guiding Light is presented by Mountain Grown Folgers Coffee, the best part of waking up. At least I knew what I was doing five years ago with you. I knew it was stupid, I knew it was wrong, and I went ahead and did it anyway. And I... And I paid for it big time. Now, you know I regret involving oh. you in that. I hate the fact that you oh, got taken man. down with me. But, Rick, now, come on, man. You want to blame somebody? Blame the member of my family that set me up. I am not... Blaming you. I am not blaming anybody. I know how hard this has got to be for you. I hope you find your ace balding. I really do. But you're not 
Do you understand? You're not going to use that girl as your spy. Do you understand I'm, me? I'm not the one Listen anything. to me. I'm not finished here. She is not as savvy and sophisticated as she looks. She's not. She wouldn't last ten minutes in that Spalding shark tank. You really are hung up on her. I am not hung up. She is just a good friend. That's all she... <laughs> Oh, I oh hate, I you're hate protesting you. way oh, too much. Man, I hate you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Maybe you <laughs> maybe you've been gone for too long. And maybe you forgot what good friends do for each other. Just as well, you know. Next time you come to me for help, I'll just say no can do. No hard feelings, right? Oh, all right, all right. Okay. Look, let's let's forget about Abby for a second. Now. Okay. Here comes the bambi. Look, Rick. Come on, man. Now, I'm serious here. Now, you, you, I thought you said that you were behind me on this. You did. You said that, that, that you were going to help me find the member you of thought. my, my family thought. that you know did what? this. You thought. Life has always got to be about you, doesn't it? You thought. Please. Are you bailing out on me? I'm just as concerned about Alan Michael as you are, but he's a top-notch sailor. And besides, hurricane season is weeks away. No, the season is getting longer every year, Amanda. Father Alan Michael would never leave port and sail into an oncoming storm. Of course he wouldn't, but the simple fact is that Silver Key Harbor Master logged the rising star Bermuda-bound two days ago, and it hasn't been heard from since. They're on their honeymoon. Maybe they're just taking their time. Yes, but the weather changes rapidly in the Atlantic this time of year. I guess they don't call it the Bermuda Triangle for nothing, huh? I'm, I'm sorry. I, look, I'm just going to stay quiet so you can listen to the radio. I think that's a very good idea. Thank you. Uh, did you try calling the National Hurricane Center? Yes, and they confirmed what the Coast Guard said. Seasonable squall line moving through Bermuda Sound. What does that mean? Amanda, is this what you call being quiet? Sorry. The barometric pressure is down around Bermuda. You know, I... I've been worrying. Uh, I've been worried about a lot of things. Too. What is there to worry about, Amanda, except your brother and sister-in-law? Well, I'd be a little less than honest if I didn't say that I'm quite worried about what Alexandra told you about me. Not now. Father, please, I don't know if you understand how upset I am about this. I, I can only imagine what you must think of me. I, look, I, I know that you're angry, and you have every right to be, but I, I wasn't very clear before, and Alexandra just tapped me with that right out of the blue. There's nothing more to say, Amanda, okay? You, well, of course there is, unless you're wondering how I could find myself in such a bad position in Malibu, and I would like to tell you. You know, you did what you had to do, and the less said, the better. Father, this is very important to me. Please listen to what I have to say. Oh, anyway. Ten more miles an hour, and the depression turns into a tropical Father, storm. Father, look at me! I don't want to lose you over this. Please, I need to hear you say that you understand what happened. That's not funny. What? I'm not laughing. I am serious. I want to make Roger pay drop for drop. Come on, it's perfect retribution. Dinah, forget it. Forget that he's been slowly poisoning my mind? And by the way, how do we know that he hasn't succeeded? Roger says that it takes 30 days to make someone insane. Well, how do we know that it affects everyone the same way? How do we know giving me triple the dosage? I mean, it, it, this stuff may have already affected my brain permanently, so if I'm going crazy, I'm taking him with me. I'll find out about the drug. I'll find out if there's any side effects. I'll find out if there's an antidote, okay? No, you know, I don't care if there is or not. Roger deserves what he gets from now on. I mean, we were only trying to make him think he was crazy, but he was literally trying to make me insane. Hart, the guy is evil. Which is why we're going to stick to the plan the way we planned it. Nobody deserves to lose their sick mind more than Roger. I mean, he trashed my life. And for what? Money? Not just any money, though. The money that my grandfather left me in my trust fund. And while he was merrily romping through my bank account, he was also turning me against all the people that I love. But did I notice? No, I didn't notice. Why? Because I was busy calling my friend, my family, anybody to tell me the truth about him. And it was all so convenient for him. Because I was defending him to spite them. Roger used me as a cash cow, and I let him. Why do you think I'm here, huh? I will never forgive him. Okay. So then help me give him the drug. No, Dinah. Look, you do that, you do it on your own. I can't have a part of it. Wayne, I'm serious. If you do this, I'm gone.
The mind is a terrible thing to waste. Of course, yours won't be missed. Ask anyone. 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 Do you really need another drink, Raj? I could say as much. You're in a sorry state, but now I hate to see you like this. Let me help you. Stay back. Stay back. I mean it. Stay back. Or I'll kill you. I'm a seventh degree. Oh, please. I don't think so. I think I'll take you. But, um, isn't Michelle going to come down tonight? I could have sworn you two had something there. No, not even a chance. <laughs> come on, we've all seen you two together. There's even talk going around school that you were caught by her father and your mother in some hotel. Listen, nothing happened, all right? Believe me, it's all rumors, all right? Michelle Bauer is a sweet kid, okay? She's much too young for me. We're the same age, Jed. Yeah, but you know, you, you kind of come across to me a little bit like you're a little more worldly. I mean, you're a woman, man. Michelle's a girl. You, um, you really think so? <laughs> I thought so since the day I first met you. But of course, I thought you were taken by, uh, Mr. Preppy, Bill Lewis. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no, 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 no. Bill and I are just friends. Cool. That's even better news. So what do you say we, uh, take that swim? I'd huh? love to. <laughs> you know, from the first day I saw him, I knew he was a jerk. You want to bail out on me? Fine, go ahead. I didn't say that. That's exactly what you said. Think about it, Dinah. If we use this drug on Roger, then we're worse than he is. Why? It's the same thing. It's not the same thing. We're better than that. Fine, then. Think of it as putting him out of his misery. What he did to you is evil and cruel, and it's really unforgivable. I know, so why won't you Because I don't me? want to be like him! If there's anything that I've learned since I came back to Springfield, I'm not going to be Roger Thorpe. I already came too close already. When? What are you talking about? When I used you. Well, you didn't try to physically hurt me. It's just as bad, Dinah. I... I lied, I cheated, I manipulated you into bed, all in the name of getting even with my father. Let's not rehash this whole now, thing. Now, listen, much. I'm not finished. Just listen to me. You and Bridget and Matt Reardon and Vanessa and the whole town of Springfield says, Oh, hard Jessup. He's just exactly like his old man. You know what? They were right. Not anymore. It really hurts me. 
when I think about what I did to you. And I don't ever want to disrespect or hurt anybody like that ever again. You won't. Hart, you're not your father. You did what you did because he hurt you. I know that. I, I know the things that hurt can make you do. You're letting me off way too easy here, Tina. No, I'm not. Hey, I mean, I, I didn't for a long time, but I know you now. I know that you are nothing like your father. Aren't you the one who's trying to save me from him? Hmm? Aren't you the one who's made sure that I don't spend the rest of my life in the loony bin? Come on, so... Uh, am I the only one here who still wants to fight back? Of course not. If anything, I'd like to wring his neck with my own bare hands for what he's done to you. Okay. So then why are we arguing? Let's finish it. Let's get him out of our lives forever. You! Holly, why is that the door, Rob? I know how you feel about it. No, me. you don't, or you wouldn't be here. Look, you're the one person I can trust not to lie to me. I need... The truth. I'm desperate. Roger, Roger, Just Leave one baby question, here. one question, and I will never ask you for anything again as long as I live. Please. Roger, please. I'll call the please police. Please don't fool me out. I'm begging you. My goodness, I've never seen you like this. Look, it's one question, but it's the most important question I've ever asked you in my life. Be quick, and if you wake the baby, you'll live to regret it. So, the most important question you've ever asked me? Come on out with it. I need my sleep. What's wrong with you? I... I don't know. You get to ask me one question, and then you'd be on your way. Okay. You've known me longer than anyone. You've seen me at my best, and you've certainly seen me at my worst. Uh-huh. Do you think I'm capable of losing control? You come all the way over here to ask me that. Look, what I mean is... You've seen me change. You've seen me learn to control my temper. Over here to ask me that after what you put me through. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about me. What's going on with me? I know. I know what you're talking about. All right. Let me put it. Do you think that I'm capable of losing my mind? You know, I mean, really losing it. I mean, can you conceive of me going crazy? you're saying, Dinah, and I understand how you got there, but I cannot go that way. I don't get you. You know, you of all people should be leading the way. It's not that I can't. Dinah, I won't. Hart, Roger is responsible for your grandfather's death. You know, I, he, he stole your home. He tried to use you to pry Peter away from Bridget and Vanessa. He's done everything. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. He's done this and that, this bad thing and that bad thing. But the fact is, Dinah, I've got Roger Thorpe's blood flowing through my veins, and it's something that I'm going to have to fight until the day I die. So you have Thorpe's blood in your veins. Don't forget, you also have Jessup's blood in your veins. And Roger has none. And that's the part of me that is not going to buy into your plan. If I was Roger Thorpe, I would do something evil and twisted and, and, and scheming. It would be justified. No! No! I am tired of following in my father's footsteps, okay? It's about time I had my own trail, Dinah. It's the only way I'm going to survive. Now, I know there's good in me. That part comes from my grandfather and my mother, and I'm not going to let anything to blot that out, okay? Can you understand that? Yes. I can understand that. a way 
Okay, we're gonna bring Roger to his knees, our way. Not through this nasty, horrible drug. I just wish that you would, I just wish that you would trust me. Will you trust me? It's been a long and muddy road, that's for sure. I've gone this far with you. I guess I can go a little bit farther. If, Philip, if it doesn't get any messier than this. No, oh, I'd <laughs> be hard to imagine. Yeah, you gotta promise me now, you keep Abigail out of this. Yeah, promise I, me. You got it, absolutely. Hey, listen, next time I see Abigail, I will smile and wave and stay on my side of the street, okay? <laughs> That's not far enough. <laughs> then I'll move. Okay. All right? It's fine. Are we okay? We're okay. Okay. I gotta get back to Spalding Land. See whose okay. teeth are in whose back now. Boy, it must be tough keeping up with your family. Brutal. Oh, uh, um, um, what? Catch me up. Did you get any clues about, uh, you know, who set you up? Oh, nothing firm. Oh, but this was great. You love us. Aunt Alex gave this very stirring speech about family loyalty. Oh, man, what'd she say? No, it was great. It was great. Actually, for about five minutes, she had me thinking I should take her off the A-list. Oh, are we down to three now? No, no, no. No such luck. Amanda came in the room, <laughs> and it was like a great white in a feeding frenzy. So oh. much for family loyalty. So we're back to four. Yeah. It was, it was great. Aunt Alex went from the bottom of my list to the top of my list in about ten minutes. Well, head of Alan Michael? Maybe, maybe. You know, stirring speeches aside, my aunt is a very clever and ambitious woman, and that's a, that's a bad combination. So, no. I don't know. I just think, I think it's just as possible that she's the one I'm looking for as anybody else. Good luck. I'm gonna need it. I'll see you, buddy. All right, boss's son. Why were you talking to him about me? What are you trying to do to me? You know, it wasn't very long ago, Father, that you gave me some advice. Your father gave it to you when you were my age. Yes, Brandon had many words of wisdom. This was about playing the cards you're dealt. You never fold. You make those cards work to the best advantage. Well, I wasn't happy with the hand that I was dealt, but like any true spalling, I made the best this of it. This discussion is ended. I was only doing what my grandfather I don't suggested. want to talk about this, Amanda. Well, Do you, you want... don't know what it was like for me out there. I had no family to turn to, nobody to fall back on. I... It was like... I, I could never relax. I could never drop my guard. Because I knew that the only person looking out for me was myself. I would not wish those years on my worst enemy. Is that right? Yes. But underneath it all, I knew that I was a Spalding. I didn't find that out until I was an adult. But when I did, I can't tell you what it meant to me. I realized that I was destined for something great, to be something important. And all I have ever wanted, Father, was to be the kind of woman that you could look at and say, now that is my daughter. You know, I think you're very tired. Why don't you get some sleep? Amanda? Father, please, I know that this subject is unsavory to you and it's distasteful, but I just want to put it out in the open so we can forget about it. You know, it. that's the difference in your generation and mine. Well, I don't know any other way to make us close again. I feel like you're holding what I did in Malibu against me, and I need to know that it doesn't matter. That it's not going to come between us. Daddy, please, I had no option, and it's just business. Pure and simple business. I'm sure that you can understand that. No, Amanda, I'm afraid I don't understand that. Grant's one desire is to be Taylor's main squeeze. It's a very simple question. Either want me or you don't. Now he has to squeeze out the competition. What is your problem? You can't be that thick. But will Taylor let him? It's too soon, not yet. This week. So what's it going to be, Taylor? On the Bold and the Beautiful. You weren't there. You don't know what... Um, Amanda, listen to me. I have a lot on my mind right now. Now, I will never force you from this house. And you're right. Business is business. And you are my business partner, at least for the time being. And our personal relationship, what, what was that? Listen, the only thing I have on my mind right now is your brother in the Bermuda Triangle. Now, we'll discuss this other later. Okay, um... That's fine, sure. I, I'm... I'm sorry, I... Mm. Uh, probably not a good time. I'll say goodnight. <laughs> uh, no, Philip. I would, uh... Gonna be up a little while. I would really enjoy the company of my son. That is, if 
if you don't mind. How can I thought he was so cool? How can I wanted this? Ah, I'm such a jerk. Look, he's the only jerk in the show. All right, tell me you told me so. No need to. I mean, at least you figured it out for yourself. How can I have been so off about him? He had me completely fooled, you know? I thought he was so special. Would you stop that we had connected in some way, you know? Stop beating up on yourself, all right? I mean, the, the water's still cold. In a couple minutes, Jay's gonna get out and walk right past us. You don't want him to see like this, do you? No. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna let him know that he got to me. Good. No, that's... Good. You might not. I mean, look, it's a beautiful night, and, and there's a party we both wanted to come to. I mean, look around. The coolest kids from the U are here. They don't need Jay to have a good time. So what do you want to do? Join them? Kick them? secrets from you. Uh, is that supposed to make me feel better? No. No, I didn't say no. How am I supposed to be independent if you are always taking care of me? I'm trying to help you. Uh, all right? You know nothing about Philip. Now he's a nice man, don't get me wrong. It's just sometimes he asks more than is fair. I don't need you to show me what is fair. People can make those decisions on their own for themselves. Fine, fine. You do what you want, okay? Mm -hmm. Old habits die hard, especially with you. What does that mean? I guess what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. See, I, I, I don't know why I have to stop caring about you because you found your independence. I mean, can't friends help friends? Or does it stop once you're on your own? Okay, fine. All right. I agree with that. If you will agree, it would have been more polite and friendly okay. for you to ask me if I need help first. Okay? Okay, I, I agree with that. Go ahead, then. Go ahead what? Ask. Ask you what? Ask me if I need help. <laughs> All right, I'll play. Do you need help? Oh, very uh, kind of you. Well, that's because I'm, I'm a nice guy. I need your help to find an apartment. The only fact I have is that they left the Silver Key the day before yesterday. Do you know where they're headed? Well, that's the problem. If they're on the course that I plotted out for them, they are headed right in the path of a tropical storm. Oh. Well, time to batten down the old hatches. Yes, and I've been reduced to getting information from the cook's radio. Dad, the Rising Star is a pretty big boat. Well, we usually have a crew of around five. Yes, and if Alan Michael dismissed them, then he probably feels very confident about being able to handle it himself. Yes, but that's the trouble with your younger brother. He likes to prove himself from time to time. Well, doesn't mean that he can't do it. Uh, yeah, sure. I was small. Well, here's to having a few moments alone with you. Your help. You know, I think this is the uh, first time you and I have had a chance to do a little old-fashioned catching up. Don't blame me. I tried on the plane on the way back from Florida. What? Sorry about that. Uh, my mind was somewhere else. It must have been uh, rather difficult for you living so far away from home. Yeah. Just the last five years. <laughs> What's your plan for the future? Oh, Dad, I, uh... I try to let the future take care of itself. I'm, <laughs> I try to get through the day that I'm in. Oh, but I'm sure you think about tomorrow. I mean, where do you see yourself in the next few months? I don't know. Yeah. Springfield has always been home. But that's not an answer. It's the best I can give you. Well, I would really love it if you'd stay. Don't you think we have enough Spaldings around here already? <laughs> no, especially when it comes to my sons. I'm going to be up 
rather late tonight, son, so uh, if you want to go on to bed, I, I'll understand. No, that's okay. I mean, if you don't mind, I'll... I'll stay up and keep watch with you. All right, I'm with you. Thank you. <laughs> I knew you'd understand. But I am tired of all these delays, so when can we reach the point of no return? As far as I'm concerned, immediately. I mean, the longer we wait, the more danger we're in, especially you. Me? You're the one who's been taking all the risks. I can handle it. Yeah, but as soon as I start to think about something going wrong, I start to get all freaked out. Don't get freaked out, okay? We've worked this out very carefully. I know, but I'm just getting scared for you now. Don't get scared. We knew that this was going to be the most dangerous part of the plan. I know. And so if one little thing screws up, You're then... You're forgetting you know... something very important. I'm Roger Thorpe's son. And in some way, he loves me. What if he doesn't? <laughs> I mean, what if he really doesn't care what happens to you? Donna, he does love me. I know, I can see it in his face. Why do you think he gets so mad when I reject him? That's what this whole thing's about. Me rejecting him. He can't bear to think that he may lose his son. I mean, he's the one who drove me away in the first place. And that's why it's going to be such sweet justice. What are you doing here, Roger? I told you. I know what you told me, but what are you really doing here? You're in some kind of trouble, aren't you? Otherwise, you wouldn't come pounding on my door at this hour of the night. I know you're not expecting a shoulder to cry on. No, 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 certainly not. I mean, I've learned from hard experience not to turn to you for sympathy. I told you, I came here because you're one of the few people, maybe the only person, that uh, I can count on to give me a straight answer, and you did. Good. So you must be on your way. Holly, wait, please. Does your wife know you're here? No. Well, maybe I better call her and have her come. No, don't do that. Why not? I don't want her to know. Did you ask her the same question you asked me? No. She wouldn't tell me the truth. Why? She love you too much? Please, don't do that. I'm scared. Okay? Of what? Me. Oh, good. Welcome to the club. Haven't I changed? From what? The guy I used to be, the guy who could, yeah. you know. Yeah. I don't know. You mellowed out a little. I certainly have. I wouldn't be standing here talking to you if I hadn't. But I would say, fundamentally, you're still the same angry young man you always were. You know, the rape and the marriage, it all happened so long ago. But the thing that made it happen, that rage inside you, I think that's still there. You had gotten control of it. That was my mistake. That was why I was about to marry you about a year and a half ago. <laughs> God help me. But it's always right there, isn't it, Roger? It's always right there under the surface. It's just waiting to explode. And then one hurt or one rejection just sends us right over the edge. Uh -uh. Why do you do this to me? Why do I even let you put me through this? I don't know. I have changed. I have. I have learned to control my anger and, and, and channel it to, to, to other things. You know that. No, you wouldn't have come here and asked me this if you weren't sure of the answer you would get. You knew what I was going to say. Yes, you're sick, Roger. You've been sick. You've always been sick. You always will be. Poor. Lecture sure has turned you against me. Oh, the hell with that. I speak for myself, nobody else. Sure. You come to me because nobody knows you the way I do. Well, you must have been prepared for the truth. Why do you think I, I, I was telling Dinah to stay away from you? Because I was afraid you were going to mess with her. Is that what this is about? Have you hurt her? Have you no, to... no, no, of course not. I mean, it's nothing like that. I came to you because I am scared. Because I'm having dreams, only I'm awake and I'm hearing voices. <laughs> You know, I mean, uh, that can't be mine, but they, they sound like me. You think you're going crazy. I guess I'm looking to you to tell me that I'm not. Well, Roger, you've always been paranoid. 
You've always been compulsive. You're very angry. You're very resentful. You can be violent at the drop of a hat. How close to madness is that? You tell me. You want my advice? Get help before you hurt somebody else. Turned out pretty cool after all. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up, Michelle? Looks like you're having a good time. Very. Come on, Bill. Problems, Jay? Nah, nah. Nah. Okay, the only way I can get an apartment is if you call these five places, here, 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 and here, that I circled in red. Right. They're the only ones I can afford on my salary for Mr. Spaulding. So, what does that mean? That is uh, 2RM. Mm -hmm. That's two rooms. Oh, that's small. Mm -hmm. That is uh, WBF, mm -hmm. and that's, uh, that's a wood-burning fireplace. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Okay, that's what about RV? RV is Riverview. Oh, that's what I thought. Okay, well, if you'll call about these sure. and see if they're still available. First thing in the morning. Great. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, hey, um, you know, I can help you. You know, I know something about apartments. Sure, if you like. Sure. Okay. First thing in the morning. You've got too much baggage about me to be objective. Oh, great. Rationalize it. That's easy. Sure, you're going crazy. There's a lot of freedom in that. You can make sense of anything, then.